Have you ever stopped to think about how far we've gotten away from the first Christmas? Today, our holiday celebrations are full of extravagant parties, expensive gifts, and unrealistic expectations. I'm convinced that the first Christmas had very little to do with all that we've come to associate with this time of the year. During Advent, I'd like to invite you to join me in taking a look at Christmas through different eyes, those of our foundress, St. John Jugan. Those who knew her passed on certain words of wisdom that she often repeated to the young little sisters. They reveal her simple but profound spirituality. In these words, there are two keys through which I think she understood the secret of Christmas. The first is this, it is so beautiful to be poor, to have nothing, to await all from God. And here's the second, be little, very little before God. I'll admit it sounds a bit weird to think of poverty as a virtue during this most commercial of seasons, but over the next few weeks, with the help of St. John Jugan, I hope to show you just how spiritual poverty and littleness really are at the heart of Christmas. I believe that John Jugan had unique insight into the Nativity. You see, it was just two days before Christmas in 1843 when she began the spiritual journey that led her down a path of poverty and humility and ultimately to sainthood. On that day, she was unjustly deprived of her title and her role as superior of the young community she had founded and began her life as a beggar for the Lord's elderly poor. So as you continue your preparations for Christmas, I invite you to take a few minutes each day to think about the words of St. John Jugan. Be little, very little before God. It is so beautiful to be poor, to await all from God. Beginning next week, we'll look at each of the figures in the nativity scene through the eyes of St. John Jugan as we seek to understand the true wonder of Christmas.